The family of Sharon Porter is speaking out after five people were hurt in a shooting in the parking lot across from Coyote Jack's last weekend. Porter was shot and killed in the same place back in December, and his brother, Tori Porter, was injured. As Channel 3's Casey Freeman explains, last weekend shooting really hit home for the family, Casey. Greg Cindy Porter's sister Cherie James says she feels like she's being called to help and plans on being a community advocate to protect club goers. Sunday afternoon was the first time Cherie James visited Coyote Jack since her brother Sharon Porter's death last December. She went on Facebook Live expressing her concerns after five people were shot in the parking lot across the street from the club earlier that morning felt like that was my baby brother telling me since you dropped the ball it's time for you to pick it back up and do what you promised to do so I'm back at it. Today Porter would be 23 years old. James is speaking out in hopes of keeping even one family from having to endure the heartache like her family. But what I'm seeing is a nuisance. Um, as I've said before, bloodshed, the blood that has been shed in that parking lot, I mean, it has to stop. Sharon's mom, Satire Reporter, says she's sad about what happened and just wants everyone to have a good time safely. She tells us a family friend of Sharon Porter, Austin Burns, was hurt in the most recent shooting. He went to, he went to school with Ronnie, played basketball with Ronnie, and I reached out to him on Facebook. And I told him I'm glad that his mother didn't have to go through what I'm going through. Burns was taken to the hospital and is now okay. And you know, I'm just glad that nobody died that night because okay. that's something I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Coyote Jacks has released a statement saying they are concerned and plan to meet with law enforcement to address the root cause. You can find the full statement inside the WRCB app. Live in the studio, Casey Freeman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.